Hey everyone. It's early in the morning here for us and uh, trying to beat the heat, but the heat's not been too bad the last couple days, which is kind of nice. As you can see, we've got the crane scale rigged up here and, oh, not zeroed out. Well, a little bit of a peak there. So at zero, and what we're gonna do is obviously test lift capacity. Now, since we've done this last time, I'd made a short, I'll, I'll link it to this video, but we have Hydros Plus Tilt Plus and Hydros Plus Lift Plus on this tractor. And also, since the last time we did the lift capacity test, we have the Hydros Plus Performance Kit Stage 3. Now that's important and I'll talk about it in just a minute, but before I do, let's go ahead and just get started on what are the numbers we're gonna get with this tractor. So I did two tests in the short, one at idle. I'll do that now. I'm gonna curl all the way back. I've got it set up the same way. Right around 2,000 PSI. I don't have to be in a hurry since I'm not making a short. 1382. Now we'll go to wide open throttle. And since that's on peak, I can just leave it there. Remember that. 1662. We're about 24 inches in front of the, the pin, roughly 24 inches off the ground. So 1662 and 1382. Let me do some math here. Okay, did the math. And before I tell you the numbers, or to tell you the percentages at least, I'll just remind you with Hydros Plus Lift Plus, if you add these cylinders to your tractor, at any given RPM, apples to apples comparison, you should get a 35 or 36% increase in lift capacity just by adding those cylinders. So the numbers we got, stock tractor at idle, 962, with Hydros Plus, 1382. That's a 45% increase. Wide open throttle, stock tractor, 1052. Hydros Plus 1662, that's a 58% increase in lift capacity, which is huge. And not what I told you you would get. Why is that? Well, remember we did add this, Hydros Plus Stage 3, since we did the lift test, the original lift test. And some of you might be thinking, well, I've asked you this question before, and so why does that matter? So the question is, if you add Hydros Plus Stage 3, are you going to get, how much more are you going to be able to lift? And my stock answer is no, but the actual answer is it depends, or maybe yes. Yes, no, it depends. It's always the answer. So let me explain why we got 45 and 58. One other thing you may have heard me say in the past in different videos or if you've emailed me is a stock tractor at wide open throttle has the same flow as a Hydros Plus Stage 3 tractor at idle. So at idle, we're flowing three to three and a half gallons per minute with, with Hydros Plus stock tractor that's wide open throttle. The last piece of information you need to know is a pressure relief valve is has no smarts to it. It's simply a spring, maybe a pilot. And whenever you overcome the spring pressure, it starts to relieve pressure. Well, in this case, what has happened, what must have happened, is at idle, Hydros Plus Stage 3 has a little more, based on how we have it set, and it was, I didn't make the change, uh, or I didn't make a change to it, but, uh, from the factory how it was set, so roughly two gallons per minute. We actually have more flow than you have at wide open throttle on this tractor with the other pump. 
And what that means is, because this is just run on spring pressure and it does not uh, regulate exactly or precisely PSIs, we actually have a little more pressure, even at idle, and that's comparable to wide open throttle. Because at idle, this tractor at idle, the 950, no, 962 that we got, there's no comparison to that because that's at like two gallons a minute. And with Hydro's Plus stage, so you cannot get to two gallons a minute. The lowest you can get is around three to three and a half. So that's why we got, we got more flow through the same pressure relief valve setting. And because the pressure relief valve couldn't bleed off with the extra flow, couldn't bleed off the pressure at the same rate, then we got a little bit more pressure and we got a little bit more lift. So I said a lot of things there. Let me kind of recap that. If you add Hydros Plus stage three, all that adds technically is flow, but a side effect of the simple pressure relief valves that are used in hydraulics is that you will get more pressure, especially as you get into RPMs above idle. And that's gonna, even without adding Hydros Plus Lift Plus, you're gonna get more lift capacity. Now, you could have got that same lift capacity by adjusting your pressure relief valve up however much it changes, you know, one, 200 PSI, whatever it is. And you could have gotten the same increase if you wanted to do that. Or when you add Hydros Plus, if you want to be exactly at 2000 PSI, you will need to take this down a little bit to, to get back to 2000 because you might be up at 2300. It, it, it will increase it at wide open throttle somewhere in the neighborhood uh, between, I'll say, two and 400 PSI. So does Hydros Plus, lift, or Hydros Plus Stage 3 give you more lift capacity? No, yes, or it, it depends. So in this case, we've got over 1,600 pounds of lift, lift capacity here at the front edge of the bucket, about 24 inches off the ground. And of course, you don't have to use all that if you don't want to, but as I like to say, or, or as our motto is around here, we're empowering the operator. You have the ability to decide, am I gonna lift it or am I not? Now this tractor has got a lot of weight to it. I did find out that the inner tires here are, uh, they're loaded, the outers are not. We've got the backhoe on it. So even at 1600 pounds, you know, we are definitely squatting the tires and those tires I haven't checked the pressure, but I don't think they're particularly high pressure. Um, we're still not lifting this tractor, at least this one, the rear end off the ground. And my point of view really is, whether it's construction equipment or uh, these tractors or, or any of the bigger tractors, I wanna be able to lift, if I so choose, I wanna be able to lift so that the rear end is off the ground, or this one's a little bit of an exception, but it needs to be nearly off the ground in case I get into a pinch and I need that kind of uh, power to get me out of it. That's how I see it. It's not how everybody's gonna see it and I get that. Um, but that's our lift capacity test. Uh, pretty significant increase, 1600 pounds. And what that's gonna let you do, those of you out there with wood totes, trying to put them in the back of your pickup, people taking uh, pallets of sod off your trailer, you know, 1,600 pounds, a pallet of sod's gonna weigh a little bit more than that, but you also don't need to get it that high. There's other variables that's gonna stick out a little bit more, but generally my finding has been, I can get a pallet of sod off the ground enough to move it around and get it off a trailer. Can't do much more with it, but any wood totes, IBC totes that people are using, you can pretty much lift those as high as you want to lift those. I think you can lift them probably high enough that uh, your, your backup secondary pressure relief valve, which is found uh, in your posterior, will kick in and uh, you won't raise it anymore. So that's enough of that. Uh, this is uh, a good result. I think I, lots of people that have Hydros Plus Lift Plus and pretty much everybody who is getting Lift Plus is getting the Telt Plus and generally at the same time because it is cheaper by about $300. Um, but if you have questions about Lift Plus or any of the other Hydros Plus 
products, feel free to go to the website, hydrosplus.com. My number is there if you want to reach out, or you can use the Contact Us form there and uh, send an email. But I'll tell you, and I hate that this is true, but the emails do not get the attention that they need. So if you have a question that you want to ask urgently, uh, please feel free to call. I'm a lot better at returning those messages than getting to the emails. That's it for this one. Questions, comments, leave them below. And thanks for watching.